happy new year. I haven't YouTubed in a long while, but it has been requested that I give you my opinions on some upcoming games. It's that time of the year. It's a new year, but it's that time of the year. So I have been going through a lot of videos on YouTube about upcoming games for the Switch and the PS5. And um, you know what? The first thing I wrote, and you're gonna think I'm crazy. I wrote that this year is gonna be kind of underwhelming, but I think I have to reconsider because some of these titles may actually be very good. Okay, so I wrote tons of anime JRPGs are coming in 2024. So this video is a dedicated one for all of the JRPGs coming and I'm gonna give you my opinions and takes on all of them. Now, first off we have Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, which is coming out now on February the 1st to PC, PlayStation and such. And there is a demo out. So I guess I could already say, play the demo. This is a colorful anime style, a JRPG, that I remember talking about on my channel like five years ago. It has been that long. I mean, just like Happy Console Gamer said, this has been a game that has been in development for such a long time that we have kind of put it in the back of our minds. <laughs> but now it's apparently happening, like finally. So that one is something that I'm going to play. I mean, I had such a hype for this game years ago. So my hype level has kind of run out. But initially, and most importantly, it looks so good. I could maybe compare it a tiny bit to the Tales of series. It has action combat. It's a JRPG with party members traversing a really beautiful land. And it has multiplayer also. <laughs> Hi, Christy Michelle. I'm gonna play with you, okay? So, I mean, this game looks fantastic and I cannot wait to play it. And I'm gonna play it on my PlayStation 5. My PS Portal is at my mom's place right now, so I am playing PS5 Remote Play on my G Cloud. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Next up we have Dragon's Dogma 2 and you guys, I was a huge fan of Dragon's Dogma 1. I reviewed it on the Switch. I loved the game. I remember calling it Skyrim but not Skyrim because it was kind of that good but I mean Skyrim is still miles away. It's still my favorite game of all time. But I remember saying that because Dragon's Dogma 1 was developed at the same time as Skyrim so it kind of looks like Skyrim in its graphics. Anyways, now there is a sequel coming, Dragon's Dogma 2, and from what I have seen from gameplay and trailers, it looks very much like Dragon's Dogma 1. I was like, are you sure this is 2? <laughs> this looks so much like Dragon's Dogma 1, which is a good thing in my book. That's a good thing because I love the Dragon's Dogma 1. It's a medieval RPG where you have party members and the combat is so fun. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Dragon's Dogma 1, but the combat was so fun and I was like a mage archer and it was just so satisfying. So I'm looking forward to Dragon's Dogma 2 and I hope it will be just as good or even better than Dragon's Dogma 1 and I will be happy. So that one is uh, personally something that I'm looking forward to, absolutely. Coming out March the 21st to PC, Xbox and PlayStation. I'll be playing it on the PlayStation. This is gonna be a PlayStation 5 year for me. Now we are going into some weirder games. Kind of weirder games, I don't know. Project Mugen, it's an open world fantasy RPG and it is set to be released in late 2024 whatever that means. It is a game set in a really big city and the movement looks so much fun. It looks like Spider-Man kind of movement on these skyscrapers. It looks really fun. Now you have dashing and swinging and also the combat, the tiny bit that I've seen, kind of reminds me of Scarlet Nexus's combat, which looks really good. Okay, so Project Mugen late 2024 is gonna be free to play also. And I uh, did not write down what kind of consoles it's coming out for but I assume PC and hopefully also PS5 because I'm gonna have a PS5 year this year. So Project Mugen looks like my type of game and a lot of you guys is a game type of game. So it definitely looks good. Keep an eye out for that one. I'll be talking more about it when it's out. Uh, same goes with all of these games. 
Okay, so this one uh, I discovered on my own <laughs> doing my research and it's called Breakers Unlock the World, which is uh, not the best title in the world. It's a gacha Genshin Impact killer, which could work, which actually could work, you know, because Genshin Impact was good, as you guys remember. I mean, I, I thought so. And it is also gonna be free to play with that gacha model. Which I don't mind, actually. <laughs> Gotchally. I don't mind it. So it is coming out in 2024. It says so. But look at the gameplay and look at the world and look at the art style, which I'm all about. So that is a weird one that I'm gonna have my tiny little eye on for, for the coming year now. Breakers unlock the world. <laughs> Not the best title, but I like it. Okay, I'll, I've decided that I like it. Okay. The next game now, Blue Protocol. And I've had this in my wish list on Steam, I wanna say for more than a year. Maybe my most looked forward game on this list, in this video, maybe. Because look at it, I mean, this looks like something that I will enjoy. It looks so pleasing on the eye. Now, Blue Protocol is already out, but not globally. But it will have a global release now in 2024. It said so, so it gotta happen. It's a free-to-play action RPG by Bandai Namco which we are fond of. I feel like that one is gonna be a huge one, a big deal. So you need to know about this one. Blue Protocol. Already liking it. I mean, it looks so good. <laughs> I wrote down it's an MMO with dungeons, open worlds, like connected open worlds, you know what I'm saying. Uh, it's coming out for PC, PS5 and Xbox. I'll be playing it on PlayStation 5. The last noteworthy JRPG that's coming in 2024, uh, according to me, I guess. Uh, lul. Visions of Mana, and I enjoyed Trials of Mana, which was a remake of an older game in the Mana series. Uh, and the Mana series, it's a big series. I mean, I went through some of my collection the other day, and I found like the weirdest games. Look. Like, here's just one example. Heroes of Mana. And also I found another game. Wait. Oh yeah. Like this one. Children of Mana. So many Manas. Square Enix. I'm loving Square Enix, by the way. I've been noticing a pattern, like, on my channel. A lot of the games that I tend to like and tend to talk about has a little Square Enix on it. So I guess I'm a fan of everything Square Enix. Like Forspoken. And I'm happy to see a lot of people are giving Forspoken a chance, since I made it my game of the year. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going off topic. Uh, Visions of Mana. Looks good. Do I need to say more? Uh, it looks like Trials of Mana, only better, I wrote. Very good. Which will be played a lot. I don't know if it's coming out on the Switch. It says PS4, PS5, Xbox and PC. I'll be playing it on... You guessed it. PS5. Now, I said that was the last game, but I actually have one more. Uh, Metaphor Refantasio. Fa Fantasio. Coming out in fall 2024. It's an Atlas game. Uh, you know, the Persona people. They're making this game and it's coming out on Xbox, PC and PS5. Did you notice a pattern? I just noticed a pattern, like right now. Are any of these coming to the Switch? Is this gonna be such a PlayStation year? I mean, I am loving my PS5, so if you're on the fence of buying a PS5, I would recommend it. I'm playing it every day. Which brings me to, I am actually giving Atelier Risa 3 a chance right now. It's crazy, I'm playing it every day for at least three hours every day. Atelier Risa 3. And I'm glad that I'm giving it more of a chance, since having it on my disappointing games list video. That was my last video on this channel. Giving that a chance, happy I'm doing that. It's not as good as Rise of 2, but it's, it's still good. I'm starting to enjoy it. Okay, so that was all of the JRPGs that I'm looking forward to in 2024. Now, I want to know yours. Of course I do. So leave that down below. Also, I want to mention something now at the end. That Fixture Gaming has my skin up right now on their website. Which is this little grip that you have on your Switch. I've been showing this off before. But look at that. 
And if you get tired of my face, you can peel the sticker off and it's still a really sturdy and good product. Affiliate link down below. Thank you guys. Loving it. So that is the fixture S1. Also the S2 goes with the OLED. S1 goes with the regular switch model. And it comes with a case, if you choose to pick up the case also. And it's such a cute little thing. So link down below for that. Also, I have some other things on my table. This one is just waiting for the correct moment. Isherman was like, this is embarrassing. You haven't done your 100k video yet. What are you waiting for? Well, I am waiting for several things. I want tiny hats in it, and I want it to be good. And Isherman is pressuring me to bake a cake. I got cream in my book. It's already floating up. <laughs> Look at this. Oh no. So we will see. I mean, I'm coming back to that one uh, later. I can talk about the other things later. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today and I will see you later. I'm so out of practice. Won't. <laughs>